Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you how to upgrade Mac OS Monterey to Mac OS Ventura on an unsupported Mac. In this video tutorial, we download Mac OS Ventura via the App Store. By default Mac OS Ventura cannot be downloaded directly through the App Store on unsapported Macs. So we need to change the Mavbook Symbia so that Mac OS Ventura can be downloaded directly through the App Store. Before starting this video tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Before starting this video, we need to check the model identifier or some bias of this 2012 MacBook Pro. Go to about this Mac. Then click system report. As you can see, the model identifier or some bias of this MacBook Pro is MacBook Pro 9,2. This model is not compatible with Mac OS Ventura by default. Now open the App Store. In the App Store search box, type Ventura. Then press Enter. On the search results page, click the View Mac OS Ventura menu. Then click the Get menu. As you can see update not found, because MacBook Pro 2012 is not compatible with Mac OS Ventura. So that this MacBook Pro 2012 can download Mac OS Ventura through the App Store, we need to change some BIOS to some BIOS MacBook Pro that is compatible with Mac OS Ventura. Open your favorite browser. Then go to google.com. In the Google search box type OpenCore Legacy Patcher. On the search results page, click the OpenCore Legacy Patcher Experience Mac OS link. Here is the main page of OpenCore Legacy Patcher on GitHub. Scroll down to get a more complete guide about OpenCore Legacy Patcher. And to download the latest OpenCore Legacy Patcher, click Latest under Releases. Here you can find the models supported on Mac OS Ventura with OpenCore Legacy Patcher. Scroll down to download the OpenCore Legacy Patcher. Under Assets click OpenCore Patcher GUI to download OpenCore Patcher. The open core patcher download process is in progress and wait until this process is complete. The download process is complete and now click on the show in finder icon. Now drag the open core patcher file to desktop. Right click on the open core patcher file and then click open. In the pop-up window that show up click the open button. On the main OpenCore Legacy Patcher window click settings. In the settings window that appears click some bias settings. Here in the some bias settings window, under some bias spoof level select advanced. Now a warning window appears with the message this option should only be used when you need to change the machine some bias data. Because we will change the some bias then just click the yes button. Now under some bias spoof model select Matabook Pro 14,1. This Matabook Pro model is compatible with Mac OS Ventura. Now click generate SN to generate serial number. As you can see a window pops up warning that the new serial is only layered via OpenCore and not permanently installed into the ROM. 
so this serial number will not change the original Mayabook serial number. Click yes to continue. Now click return to settings. Then click return to main menu. Now click build and install open core menu. Now we need to install open core to disk, so click on install to disk. Here you need to select the disk where open core will be installed. Then select the EFI partition of the disk where open core will be installed. Here you have to enter your Mac admin password to continue the open core install process. Now we need to restart the Mayabook for the changes to take effect immediately. Now wait for the restart process to finish. Restart process has been completed. Now open about this Mac again. Then click system report. As you can see, the model identifier has now changed to Matabook Pro 14,1. Now open the App Store. In the App Store search box, type Ventura. Then press enter. On the search results page, click the View Mac OS Ventura menu. Then click the Get menu. As you can see update still not found. Then just click OK. Also close the software update window. Now try again click on the Get menu. As you can see now the Mac OS Ventura download menu appears. Click download to download Mac OS Ventura. Now the Mac OS Ventura download process is in progress and will take a few hours depending on your internet speed. As you can see the process of downloading Mac OS Ventura is complete. To upgrade Mac OS Monterey to Mac OS Ventura, click continue. Here click agree. Then click agree again. Here click continue. Now enter your Mac admin password. Then click unlock. The Mac OS Monterey to Mac OS Ventura upgrade process is ongoing and can take an hour or more depending on your Mayabook.
The process of upgrading macOS Monterey to macOS Ventura has been completed, now enter your password to continue logging into the desktop. Here click continue. Now we have entered the macOS Ventura desktop. Since the App Store opens immediately after restarting, now we need to close the App Store. Here as you can see Open Core Legacy Patcher automatically detects the hardware that needs to be patched. As you can see, in MacBook Pro 2012, only Intel Ivy Bridge graphics needs to be patched. Click the OK button to install the patch. Now you have to enter your Mac admin password to continue the patch installation process. Then click the OK button. Patching process is in progress and wait until this process is complete. Now a pop-up window appears and click on open system settings. And then the privacy and security window will open. Scroll down until you find security. As you can see only two app options allowed i.e. from App Store and Identified Developer. Now click Details. Now you have to enter your Mac admin password. Then click Unlock. As you can see the two patch files are updated automatically. And the system needs to be restarted before it can be used. Click OK to restart the system. In the pop-up window that appears click Not Now to restart the system later. Now close the privacy and security window. Root Patcher finished successfully and you need to restart the system for the patch to take effect immediately. Mabook Pro 2012 graphics patching process has been completed. So that's it, if this video is useful don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions just comment down below. See you in the next video.